Okay, so to give it more of that fur texture, you want to get warm water again, cut the pieces about this size, wet them, stretch them a little bit, and don't spread them out, sort of crumple them. And this student is already has it almost complete. She's doing a panda, so she's going to use a joint compound to make it smooth here. But for the rest of it, we want it fluffy. And some of these holes from the gauze can be filled in with paint, but she could also use some joint compound on top to fill it in to add to the texture. And then continue that, let it dry, and then you could either add the joint compound, like I said, or start painting.